Today, we're gonna be making birria, which is a Mexican super stew that has been slow cooked. The meat is melt in your mouth, delicious and tender. We're gonna go as far as to making tostadas, which is made up of so much goodness. But before we get started, I do wanna invite you to subscribe, like this video, and also click the notification bell. All right, welcome to my kitchen and let's get started. First off, we're gonna prep the red chilies, which is what's gonna give this Mexican dish its iconic red color. Starting with eight guajillos, four puyas, and two ancho chiles. To remove the seeds, I'm simply going to cut the stem area and cut them open. You know, guajillos is one of the three most commonly used peppers in Mexican cuisine because it is mild in heat and pairs perfectly with a lot of peppers. Puya is actually very similar in flavor to guajillos, but the main role for this pepper is going to be that kick of heat because it is spicier than guajillo. What I love about ancho peppers is the fact that it is smoky and fruity. It's really gonna make this dish stand out. If you wanna wear kitchen gloves for this step, feel free to do so. We don't want you to get spicy hands because it can burn. <laughs> Place a comal over low heat and once hot, toast the peppers. Don't forget to turn them continuously because you don't want them to burn. Burnt chilies will taste completely bitter. It'll ruin your entire dish. So that's why you wanna be careful and do this on low heat. As soon as you start to smell these, they're ready. Remove them from the heat. Rinse them and place the peppers in a deep bowl. Add hot water, enough to cover them, and it's gonna take about five minutes to hydrate them. Set them aside. I'm gonna go grab a pan and follow me to the stove. Don't we all love spices? I mean, they're great. And to draw out even more of that flavor, we're gonna toast them, starting with half a teaspoon of whole cumin. And I have a pan here over medium heat. Swirl them around. Beautiful, it looks golden brown. I'm gonna transfer them to a dish. Next, do four whole cloves, half a cinnamon stick, and also one teaspoon of whole allspice. Allspice is actually very commonly used in Mexican cuisine, although we know it by sweet peppercorn. It's very similar in flavor to nutmeg, cinnamon, peppercorn, and even cloves. Set these aside until we need them, and if at any point during the toasting process you feel that you have to lower the heat, feel free to do so. Moving on, remove the stem area from two Roma tomatoes and roughly dice them. Now do the same with half a medium white onion and peel five garlic cloves. Okay, now follow me to the stove. Place a pan over medium to medium low heat and add a couple of tablespoons of a smooth olive oil. When the oil is nice and hot, add the onion and garlic. Saute until the onion begins to soften and stir as needed. Now add the tomatoes. Yes. Allow the tomatoes to cook until completely softened. It's ready. All right, turn off the heat, grab your mix and a blender. Let's make this sauce. Add in the tomato mix. You know the sauce is gonna be good when you start to add a whole bunch of things that look incredibly delicious. The hydrated chilies, 
nice and soft, the beautiful color. What's not to love? Measure out two cups of the soaking liquid and add it into the blender as well. Pour in two tablespoons of white distilled vinegar, two teaspoons of dry Mexican oregano, and finally the toasted spices. It's a simple step that makes a huge difference. All right, now cover and blend until completely smooth. Perfect, it looks, <laughs> this thing is alive. Okay, it looks great. Now, if you can't get it this smooth because of the type of blender that you have, um, and you'll know because you'll have little pieces of skin left behind, you can go ahead and straighten it. Mine is good, set it aside, and let's move on to the next thing. For the meat, I have two pounds of beef, chuck short ribs which are rich and flavorful perfect for slow cooking because they're going to turn out super moist and tender i also have three pounds of beef cheeks i know this is a muscle but as it slowly cooks that connective tissue is actually going to melt away giving us a tender piece at this point just generously salt all of the cuts and i'm doing one tablespoon of kosher salt Flip them, that way you coat it evenly. Now some freshly ground black pepper. Okay, and you wanna do this to taste, just add it a generous amount, make sure it's evenly distributed, just like we did with the salt. Place a large pot over medium high heat and add a couple of tablespoons of a smooth olive oil, about three tablespoons I'd say. When it's nice and hot, add the meat. Brown on all sides, and if needed, do it in batches to prevent overcrowding the pot. Once both sides are brown, remove it from the heat so we can do the next batch. When all of the meat has browned, add in 10 cups of water. Add the meat back into the pot. Pour in the sauce carefully. Ooh, yes. Add one cup of water just to get the last bit of sauce. Three bay leaves, and these are dry. Three to four sprigs of yerba buena or mint leaves. Let's give it a quick stir make sure everything gets well combined. Now allow this to reach a boil. This is boiling. Lower the heat to medium low and cover the pot. We are going to allow this to cook for three hours on a gentle simmer. All right, let's check this out. Oh yes smoke of victory <laughs> at this point if you want to remove some of that fat that rose to the top you can do so i will because it's quite a bit now this fat is what's typically used to make the quesa tacos which are amazing and i have a video for it that i'm gonna leave you the link for down in the description area so you can check it out but today i'm not gonna use it we're doing something different but oh so exciting as well now seasoned with salt to taste, I'm going to be using one tablespoon of kosher salt. Mix one more time so that everything gets blended. Then remove the meat and this is fall of the bone tender. We are going to shred the meat. Now as far as the consomme, just leave it on low heat, that way it keeps warm. I don't even think you're gonna need a knife for this. It is just so tender. At this point, if you wanna remove any excess fat that the meat may have, you can, it's up to you. But look at that, ugh. Transfer the meat back into the deep dish. Now take some of the consomme and drizzle it right over the meat. That way it stays moist, hydrated, flavored, you name it. 
Authentic Birria is indulgent and these tostadas will have you coming back for more. To assemble, start by spreading refried beans to the tostada. I have a whole video on refried beans, I'll link it in the description area. Layer a generous bed of the shredded birria. Top it with fresh, crunchy, shredded green lettuce, chopped onion, and chopped cilantro for that taco vibe. Drizzle Mexican style cream or sour cream. Spoon a generous salsa over them. This one has pieces of avocado in it. I will also leave you the link to this recipe below. Now crumbled queso fresco, a slice of tomato, and a touch of lime juice. Pair them with a bowl of the warm consomme, add chopped onion and cilantro, a touch of lime, combine, and enjoy. Ooh, I am ready. I am so, so ready. You take so long. <laughs> you know, the anxious. <laughs> Your entrance, come on. Hey. He's supposed to make it seem like smooth. He's walking in. I even dressed with the colors of birria. Or, oh, you did? Well, kind of. Autumn. What is it right now? Fall. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. I do match. There you what go. do you guys think? I think so. Now, what we have here is a consomme. Pair them together. Enjoy both. Okay. All right, let's go. Ooh. <laughs> mm, oh, mm, mm. oh, where do I begin? The birria is definitely the star of the show. Mm. It's okay to get messy sometimes. That touch of lime juice opens up all of the flavors beautifully. You can taste the creaminess from the avocado, the Mexican cream. Look how the meat jiggles. It's Pure melt goodness. in your mouth. Delicious. All right, let's test that theory right now. Mmm. The consomme, you, you, you don't throw it away. This is treasure. This is gold. I know you're gonna love this recipe. Try it at home. Enjoy all these flavors because Mexican cuisine is just amazing. Experience the joy. Well, remember that you can follow me on all of my social media platforms. And until the next one. Until the next one.